In the 16th century, the French nation suffered a series of civil wars between Catholics and Protestants, also called Huguenots. The civil wars were caused mainly by religious differences and conflicts, but power struggles between the competing noble families also contributed. There were eight wars of religion in France throughout 36 years. The first one started in 1562. The war ceased with the Edict of Nantes, signed in 1598, an edict that established a limited civil tolerance and right for the Calvinists. The First War, 1562-63. In 62, the Duke Francois de Guy massacred a hundred Protestants attending a service. This marked the beginning of the First War of Religion in France. The Guy family was the predominant force in France during that time. They were devoted Catholics and controlled the two most powerful institutions of the state, the army and the church. Their enemies were the Bourbons, a family with powerful Protestant members. After Duke de Guise's attack on the Protestants, Louis de Bourbon, Prince of Condé, formed the Protestant army and captured the town of Orleans on the 2nd of April, which led to more acts of savage violence over France. In the Battle of Drux, the only major battle of the First War between the Protestant troops of Condé and the Royal Catholic troops. The Catholics had the advantage and Duke the Gui sieged Orleans held by the Protestants. The First War ended with the Amboise Edict of Pacification. Second War, 1567-68. to 68. In 67, the Huguenots decided to attack the Catholics for one more time. Afraid of the Cardinal of Lorraine's influence on King Charles IX, they tried to impose their control over the Cardinal. This is known as the Muke Surprise. Later, the Protestants began capturing Catholic cities in acts of violence like the Michelade. When the Protestants started killing Catholic leaders, were committed everywhere. A little later, the Huguenots Condé's army captured a town north in France called Saint Denis. But in the fall of 1567, the royal troops gained it back. In 1568, a peace treaty was signed between the Huguenots and the Catholics, the Edict of Longjumois. The Third War, 68-70. A peace treaty lasted only for five months, and after it, the of 1568, the Huguenots made political relationship with the Prince of Orange and Elizabeth of England, which allowed them to support and help each other for the future. By the same time, the French Catholics were supported by the Spanish King, the Pope, and the Duke of Tuscany. Battles in Poitou, Saint-Onge, and Guyenne were started, and even though they were two victories for the Catholics, the Huguenots weren't discouraged and won the Battle of Ornay-le-Duc, town in central France. The end of these battles was a form of peace the Protestants took advantage of and received four strongholds for the following two years. The edict, mainly invoked by King Charles IX and signed in northern Paris, led to civil tolerance, or in other words, freedom of worship for the Protestants. The Fourth War, 72-73. In 72, the Catholic Catherine de Medici arranged a marriage uh, of her daughter Marguerite de Valois, sister of King Charles IX, and Henry de Nevers, who was the leader of the Huguenots, in order to end the violence and decrease the tension. Catholics, Protestants, everyone came to the wedding in Paris. Duke de Guy saw this as an opportunity to wipe out a huge amount of prominent Protestants and eliminate their leaders who came to attend the wedding. During the night from the 23rd to 24th of August, or St. Bartholomew's Day, numerous Protestant leaders were executed, which was followed by a savage massacre that lasted until the 29th of April, August, killing 4,000 Protestants. The massacre spread throughout the whole city, country, and resulted in the death of 10,000. The violence toward the Protestants caused many to flee from France, and a lot of battles in western and southern France. The war ended uh, with the Edict of Boulogne, which was less favorable than the previous one, and stated that the Protestants have freedom of conscience, meaning they wouldn't be punished for not attending Catholic services, but could worship only in La Lochelle, Nîmes, and Montebon. The Fifth War, 74 to 76. The malcontents, a group made of Protestant and moderate Catholics, called for political reform, tolerance toward reformed worship. The numerous army of the malcontent forced, forced King Henry III to sign the Edict of Beaulieu, 6th of May, 5076, which allowed Protestants to have freedom of worship everywhere except in Paris. The Sixth War, 76-77, the Edict of Ballou raised opposition. The Catholic League, or Holy League, headed by Guises, was formed as a more radical group, which aimed to end all Protestantism in France. This often resulted in more slaughters. The States General was summoned and the Edict was abolished, which led to the rekindling of the conflict. As both sides lacked the necessary financial means, they were forced to negotiate, and the Edict of Poitiers was sound in October 1577. 
Seventh War, 79 to 80. War broke out in local areas. Prince de Condé and Henry de Nevers won over several cities. This occasional fighting was ended by the Treaty of Lakes, which was signed on the 26th of November, 1580. It upheld the Edict of Poitiers. The Eighth War, 85 to 98. The final war is also called the War of the Three Henrys. Henry III, Henry de Nevers, and Henry de Guy. In 1584, Henry the Navarre became successor to the throne. Henry the Gui, leader of the Catholic League, obliged Henry III to sign the Treaty of Nemours in 1585 that demanded that Huguenots had six months to choose between conversion and exile. Protestantism declined, but Navarre still held southern France, while Paris and the northern parts of the country were controlled by the League. On the 12th of May 1588, the League in Paris revolted on the day of the barricades, and Henry III was forced to flee. He took refuge in Blois, but Guise's rising power worried him, so he decided to have Henry the Gui assassinated. This, however, did not end the League's power, so he sought help from Henry de Nevers. Together, they besieged the capital, but failed to take it as the Spanish army came to the help of the League. In 1589, Henry III was assassinated as revenge for Henry the Gui's death by a monk. Henry the Nevers became king, but as he was Protestant, the Pope had excommunicated him, and the League opposed his ascension to the throne in Paris. In 1594, he converted to Catholicism, was crowned Henry IV, and Paris yielded. In 1595, he converted, he received absolution from the Pope. The French religious wars ended with the Edict of Nantes, signed on the 30th of April, 1598. It granted limited civil tolerance and religious coexistence.